Alright, so today we're going to have another unboxing video, this time of a piece of Herodian type pottery from Galilee. It should date somewhere between the 1st century, about 50 BCE, to the 3rd century. We have nice ribbed tape reinforced so you don't have to use as much and it holds up a lot better than shipping. Some lovely paper. Not seeing any bubble wrap. Should have brought scissors. I mean, I would have, oh boy. I definitely preferred bubble wrap, and honestly, if you can see the pot and it's touching the glass, that is not the way to pack that. What they do, vacuum seal it in here? So they have a vacuum sealing system, but they don't have a system to make bubble wrap. I mean, honestly, I would have bought the bubble wrap maker instead of the vacuum sealer price is about the same. I don't see how vacuum sealing is going to help it when it's already wrapped in glass, tape, plastic, more plastic in a box. The display case is cute. The design's a bit dated, but honestly it doesn't bother me. Oh, we have saran wrap, or another type of clean wrap. They are really concerned about this thing getting wet, not broken, even though, you know, it's solid glass and terracotta. Probably one of my least favorite packing jobs. Make sure this lid doesn't pop off and just plop the pot out. Yeah, I can literally see the pot. That's not how you pack it. Overall, I'd give this packing job a D minus. Because there is no bubble wrap. I mean, what's paper going to do? Paper is just filler. It's not going to protect the item from shifting around. Anyway, the sort of wheel cut design, the ribbing and the color of the clay, very typical of Herodian pottery from Galilee in the modern day Palestine slash Israel. It would have been exported all around the area and as kind of just to compete with your typical Roman redware. So this probably would have been a little wine jug. Slightly rounded bottom is an interesting touch. I got here intact. Well, hello, pretty kitty. How are you? Set that down here and show a pretty hit. Hello. This used to be a wild kitty. 
He was starving when they found him and covered in parasites. But now he's a happy and nice kid. And we call him Nelson. <laughs>